Hey guys, I'm back again. My name is Shantanu and today I'm going to take few minutes of yours again uh, to talk about Visual Studio Team Services Build Agent. Um, uh, in next, uh, in last couple of videos, we uh, showed you how to uh, uh, spin a VSTS account and uh, deploy and build uh, build and deploy your uh, code to an environment. Um, uh, so so uh, today we're going to talk about uh, how to spin a uh, private build agent in VSTS. Details about this uh, particular video can be found out over here in my uh, blog that's cloudcalendar.wordpress.com and under that you have a new um, a new blog being posted on 16 July spin up a private build agent. Alright so so what are build agent? Build agent are, uh, are, are a virtual machine or a machine uh, which is used to build your code or deploy your software you need uh, you need to so you need at least one be, uh, build agent which Microsoft gives you when you spin up a new VSTS account if you go over here in the star button and click on agent pools and click again on hosted agent uh, that's the machine which is already by default given by uh, Microsoft when you create an account so where what is this agent this agent is probably a virtual machine or an on-premises machine hosted in a Microsoft so, uh, internal or pu uh, public cloud uh, why do you need more virtual machines? Uh, you you uh, you have grown your software to a level where you need more number of builds. You you you're checking in code much uh, much more faster than uh, previous uh, 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 previous uh, check-ins. So now you need to you need you need uh, more number of softwares. You have with with your private build agent you have. Uh, you can control, you can maneuver your virtual machine, you can maneuver your uh, build agent. With hosted agent, you do not have much of a control over uh, the agent. If you need certain dependencies, certain softwares which is needed to run your software, uh, you can use your private virtual machine, uh, private build agent, and use that. Um, all right. So this session gonna be all about how to create a Windows build agent and. Uh, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So in under the hosted, if you go over here on the star and click on agent pools, you see the hosted agent, and under default, you have all your uh, build agents, uh, private build agents. So to create a private build agent, uh, you need to create a virtual machine first. I have already created a virtual machine. I'm logged into that machine. Um, could be your uh, Azure, Google, or Amazon machine as well, or your on-premises. Um, virtual machine or machine as well um, to create a virtual machine you need to go to security first and add a token generate a token basically that's gonna be demo agent okay and select the scopes for the purpose of the guide I'm selecting all the scopes and create a token um, make sure you copy and paste and keep it handy uh, this uh, pad token we gonna personal access token we gonna need this token in next couple of minutes so now we go to our agent pool and click on download agent when you click on download agent you get three option windows OS X and Linux for the purpose of the guide I'm gonna again uh, click on download for windows and I've just downloaded it I'm going to PowerShell and run it as an administrator alright um, I'm gonna CD into the C drive and create a folder that's agent I'm gonna CD into that folder alright so I'm, you can see that I'm CD into that folder that's gonna be my agent folder where all the builds and artifacts gonna be saved I'm gonna okay why don't I just paste copy and paste this command let okay so I'm gonna explain you what this command will actually do add type assembly name uh, system dot I that's one of the classes of uh, uh, .NET and it's gonna compress the downloaded folder and extract to a directory okay so compress which what's gonna uh, what, what it's gonna extract is the this particular folder which I've just downloaded and extract into this agent Okay, when I when I click on it and uh, uh, press enter, we see that it has already extracted the uh, files under the downloaded folder. It's been extracted into agent folder. All right, so now we gonna run the config command. 
which gonna ask couple of inputs so enter the server URL that's gonna be your VSTS account URL and I'm gonna press uh, press uh, enter it over here and uh, uh, if it's if it's your business uh, uh, enterprise account, it's gonna be your first uh, business account. That's your company name. Dot Visual Studio. Dot com. You enter uh, you enter the PAT token. Yeah, that's your authentication type is gonna be PAT, and your personal access token which you generated couple of minutes back. Connecting to server, yes. Agent default, uh, agent pool gonna be default one. Agent name gonna be demo hyphen agent. Scanning for tool capabilities, and it's gonna be working folder gonna be your work where uh, all your build and artifacts gonna be saved. And I want to run this agent as a service. All right, uh, so we have successfully created our agent. Let's go to our agent pool bingo uh, we can see that our new agent has been created successfully and our all our folder and working directory are being established as well uh, so that's that's all to create th this easy it was to create a build agent on VSTS if you it's if it, it's a dotnet project for you you can uh, install visual studio and other utilities as well and you can get started with your uh, new build agent uh, information about this particular block can be found out over spin up a new private build agent VSTS block. Um, that's pretty much uh, from me. I hope this video was informative for you. For anything, uh, anything around VSTS and DevOps, you may write an email on shantru underscore das. That's my email ID, or you can comment on my blog as well. I'll, I'll try to get back to you via video or email. That's all from me, uh, my friends. I hope uh, you liked the video. Thank you. Do not forget to share or like the video if you really liked it. Uh, thank you. Thanks a lot.